Are you looking for a social network for your team, community or friends? Let's discover Miski, the best free modern open source social network. It's free, open source, has a great user experience and is ActivityPub compatible. What it means is that you can link your instance to the Fediverse and see content from other Miski servers, but also Mastodon and Playmora. Before starting our platform overview and saying goodbye to Twitter, let's see the different options available to start using it. As a user, you can create your account on any server like the main one, miski.io. But if you want to create your own instance, you can follow the installation instructions on their GitHub or use a platform like ours, Elestio, to take care of the installation, backup, updates and maintenance for you. To install Miski on our platform, go to ls.io and click on Login. Deploy my first service, then search for Miski, click on Select, Choose between the different cloud providers, regions and service plan you need. I will take 2 CPU and 4 GB of RAM. Click on Next. Adjust your level of support based on your need. I will keep the free included one. And once you're ready, click on Create Service. You will receive two emails. One is for the verification of your account that we will create for you. Start by following the link of that email. It will display you the message email address verification succeeded. Then let's head to the second email that we send to you to tell you your instance is ready. Go on, click here to get the password. It will lead you to LSTO admin UI. Click here to copy the password to your clipboard and access your instance. We arrive on Miss Key login screen. Click on sign in. The username is admin and the password from the clipboard, paste it and click on sign in. It's asking you if you want to accept notification, you can authorize or decline it. And it comes with a nice onboarding process. So let's just follow it together. Profile settings. We can change our avatar, let's do it. Do you want to crop this image if it's not in one one ratio, but mine is so I can use as is. You have my beautiful picture, then your name. I'll use Wawa Sensei, hit save, and your bio. I'll write discover open source software on LSTO, save it too. And we have a label to tell us that there are more settings, but we can configure it later. Hit continue. Then we have the privacy settings. By default, your account is quite open, so you can change it by setting like follow request require a profile to on or off. By default, it's off. Hide online status, reject crawler indexing, and reject usage in machine learning. By default, it's on, so just let's keep the default. Click on continue. And then it's a nice feature, but because we are the first user, we won't be able to see it. It's try to follow some user that interests us. So it's a suggestion list of other users. We will skip it because currently we have no one else. Once your profile setup is complete, you have another onboarding process to guide you through Miski. So let's follow it together. It's always good when open source software comes with nice onboarding. Here we have the concept of a note. It's the equivalent of a post on Twitter, which before was a tweet. So it's explain us the different function we have so we can reply, renote, add some reactions and a menu button to do some actions. At this stage, it's not interactive. So let's just continue. And here we have more detail about how we can use reactions over different posts. So we can use a predefined list here or use custom emojis. They are sorted between categories, for example, face, and you select the one you want. You have a nice toast displaying on the bottom right. And you can also undo a reaction by pressing the minus button. Let's hit continue. Then we have the concept of timelines. So because we can put our instance in the Fediverse, we can switch between different timelines, either locals or only nodes that belong to that server a mix of both or only global ones. So let's hit continue. And to grasp all the features of the note editor, we have some information about it. So we can put it in public or not with here the visibility. We also can disable the fact that it is pushed also into the federation. By default, it's on. So click on defederate if you don't want it to. You can fine tune the reaction that users are able to put. And if you go below, they are explaining us that you can use content warning. For example, if you have spoilers or anything, you can add a button to show content. Let's try it. Let's click on the hide content button. Hello. How are you? If I click on the preview, 
You can see hello is displayed by default. And if people want to click on show content, it will be how are you? This is a pretty bad example. But let's say instead at the end of June 2, blah, blah, blah. And here is your spoiler. So by default, it will be hidden. And only the people that have seen the movie would be able to click on show content and not being spoiled. Okay, so let's jump to the next. And we have a bit the same concept, but for images. So once you attach a file, so by default it's using an Atollid, so it's very Japanese. Click on the image and you have some options. You can mark it as sensitive. And again, only people that are prepared based on the message written here to watch the content would click on it to view it. It really contains all the features of other social networks that usually you would write not say for work and then people would open it or not but here it's included by default so let's go to continue and we have completed the tutorial again a nice toast displayed here with an achievement enjoy my instance close put back the camera in place and because we are the first user and it's pretty empty let's fix it by opening the control panel that is only for admin users you have a nice overview of what is going on your instance, the statistics, how many nodes have been pushed, the custom emojis. You can see in real time the active users. You also have a heat map of active users or other infos based on the time of the day and also the retention rate. But because it's a fresh instance, it's not very visual yet. Let's start by inviting another user. So let's go to users. You can either do add a user to invite it manually, but you can also click on invite, generate an invite without expiration. If you want it to work for one user or more, let's keep it to one and click on create. It will generate you an invitation key. Got it. Let's open it again in incognito window. And because our instance is invite only, we have that warning here. So sign up at this instance, we agree with the note. So we didn't write them, but in the control panel, we can add notes to explain what is our instance and what are the rules. Click on continue, paste the invitation code, write your username, I will put Wawa, available, enter a password and click on begin here. Then you have again the onboarding and so on, but I will just top that account here. Now on the main account, we can see that the invitation has been used by Wawa here at that time. We have a lot of other options on the server, for example, the roles, add custom emojis and so on. A good one that we can set up together is the branding and we will add our logo to not make it misky by default. So icon URL, so to have an image, we can use the drive feature from Miski. We have my beautiful picture. There are three dots on the top right, upload a file. Now you have the file, right click, copy URL, go back to the control panel, head to branding, paste the icon URL and hit save. To change the color of that green, it's not based on the instance setting, but it's a user choice. So we'll see it later. Now let's attach our instance to the Fediverse. So what we need to do to watch other servers is head to relays and add a relay. So we need an inbox URL. This is common to use the activity pub from the Fediverse. So I will put you the link in the description to know how it works. So Fediverse relays, you have some information and a list of ready to use Fediverse relays for you. I will choose relay.libranet.de and it's displaying the list of the servers that it's looking into to fetch content from. Because it's respecting activity pub standards, it's not only looking to Misky servers. It's also looking for Mastodon or any other one. So to get the relay address, it's here, the slash inbox one. Copy it and paste it in the add relay. Hit OK. You will see pending, but because it's automatically accepted, we can just reload and it appears as accepted. So now what happens? The part we are all waiting for is to go to timeline. So the home is only not from accounts I follow and currently they are known but let's open the global one. And from there, we can see posts from other instances in the Fediverse. Because we just connected it, it's still fetching some other ones. We have that post eight minutes ago from that user and we have the URL of where it is located. So let's open, for example, the user. We can see it posts, its feed, 
what it's doing. Let's follow that user. Again, a new achievement following your first user. It's like a classical social network, but the difference is it includes modern features, but also the fact that you are not on the same social network. Before creating our first post, what we can do is go to timeline, use that feature that is named antennas. Let's create a new one. And this feature is just to monitor some keywords that interest you and to have a feed based on that keyword and that or those keywords. Let's say I'm very interested in Miski and I want to see all content related to it. So I will name it Miski. Antenna source, you can define on what it will be attached to, but I will take it on all notes. And you can add keywords to listen to. Either and if you separate with space, so let's say Miski instances, it will only look for Miski instances. But if you put a new line, it will either look for Miski or instances separately. We just want to look for Miski. You can also exclude keywords. You have some options for more control, but let's just hit save. Now we have our antenna. We can create our first note. So let's go here to note and write it. Are you having a great time on Miski platform overview with? And you can tag other users. So we have Wawa that we created earlier. We can add images, do anything we like, add hashtags. Let's also add Miski. We can add a poll because it's a question. So yes, no. Allow selecting multiple choices, but in that context, it would have no sense. We can preview it. By default, we had the preview enabled, but we can hide and show it. And let's create our note. We had a new achievement unlocked, but let's head into the timeline. So we can see our posts, click on yes. We have the results automatically. And let's see if our antenna that we created grasp that content. So here we are in the Miski antenna and we see our content that is related to Miski. So let's say, for example, you put open source software or anything that you like, you could get some posts from it and from all the users in the Fediverse. When you create a note in the text editor here, it's using a special markdown format that is documented in the Miski documentation. So you can see at it will tag users. So this is quite classical, but you can tag instances also add hashtags dynamically with the hash, but you can do like in markdown syntax to add a link and to add some text for the link and a few other things, but I will provide you the link in the description. Miski documentation is very nice. It's split it between users, server administrators or developers if you want to do custom integrations. So based on the type of user you are and what you are looking for, I highly recommend you to read it. Another interesting feature we have, so let's go to timeline, go to global. So we have more posts that appear now. We can click here, add to favorites. It's a nice one, but we also have the clip. So let's say we have a post that is interesting us. Maybe it's long, we don't have time to read it or to grasp the information and take notes from it. We can just create a new clip. Let's say um, reading list, add description. So uh, notes I need to take notes from if it's public or not but let's create our clip we can add other posts let's say mine but it's nonsense and from that in our clip we will have all the posts related to this and that that we want to read later it could also be like the antenna about a specific topic but it's a nice to have miski also provide more things so i won't cover all of them but it go until Miski games, so you can play online games. So currently they have two directly from your instance. You can invite your friends and play, but I let you the joy to discover the more features. Now let's edit our profile. So to do this, go back and settings. Here we can change our banner. So we can upload directly here. Do I want to crop? No. You can add more information about you that on the onboarding process. So feel free to feed it. You can also fine tune even more the privacy settings, have a real personal experience with the emoji picker. So these are the defaults, but you can add ones that you often use into that list. So let's take this one that we added earlier. And so we have it at disposal every time we want to add a reaction to a post, to a note, sorry. 
And to have the perfect experience, let's go to themes. We can switch between light and dark mode. And we can choose the different theme we want to use, either in light mode or dark mode. So now I'm in dark mode. I can use persimmon, so you can see the color change. And if we take the light one, we can use another one too. Thank you for watching, I hope you had a great time in the Fediverse. If you find our content useful, please hit the like button to make our content more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our upcoming videos. In the meantime, to continue discovering great free tools, it's this way, here.